no more. I'm on it. Today's episode, A Worm in Our Midst, Act One, Justice Overdue. Wow, I'm honored. The ex-middle school shuffleboard team in my backyard. Oh, this is too much. Can we just get down to it? We have a match tomorrow. Where are our sticks, Clementina? The treehouse? First, I don't do treehouses. It's my sister's. Second, call me Tony. You know, I love extra salty pretzel rods. They're crunchy and salty, and I pay money for them every week. You guys love your shuffleboard sticks, and that's why you're gonna pay me to get them back. Pay you? Clementina, they're ours! Wrong. Currently, they're mine. Now, do we have a deal, or do these sticks wind up at the bottom of Horseshoe Pond? Deal. Good. You wanna keep your sticks safe? Lock them up like I do. Heesh, you think you guys on the shuffleboard team would consider a little strategy? Speaking of strategy, it's game over, Tony. Ingrid Third, ex-middle school safety patrol. Oh, looks like you got me. Psych! Hey, Tony, going somewhere? Fillmore, my favorite friend. <laughs> Feelings mutual. Uh, let me ask you something. When are you gonna lay off my back? As soon as you lay off everyone else's. Well, at least we understand each other. <laughs> He's heading for the school. meditating here. Excuse yourself, sister. What? Hi, Tony. Is your refrigerator running? Like you? Man, that was weak. Nowhere to go, Tony. Got one more exit. Hey, guess what, Tony? You don't. It's over, Clementina. Excuse me, but the book club is trying to have a discussion about the shortage of Lloyd Alexander books in the library. Fillmore! You okay, Ingrid? Yeah, I'm okay. Hail to the conquering Euro. That one was better, huh? I don't know how you do it. Do what? Do what you do. Sure, you put me in here. I get maybe what? A two, three day suspension? <laughs> then I'm back in the halls, rested and ready. It's pointless, you can't stop me. We can have fun slowing you down. You know what's really pointless? Continuing on the road you're on. There's you and there's me, Officer Fillmore. You could say we are what we are. Or, you could say it's a choice, and one of us is making the wrong one. Shut up and call my mother. Oh, believe me, I'm gonna get right on that. But first, I'm gonna get me a Jolly Wally Pop. Nice day for an ice cream, don't you think? Peace out, Tony. Don't let him get to you, Fillmore. Too late. Dog, that kid is bad news. Whoa, steady, Bessie. My ladder's name is Bessie. Here you go. Looks like it's been up there a while. What is it? I don't know. Huh. Pudding. Or custard. Hey, Tahama? Yeah, Angry. This might sound weird, but has anything big gone down in the cafetorium involving pudding or custard? Try the biggest custard spill in human history. You serious? Uh-huh. It happened last year. Mr. Geary, the head of the Home Economics Department, was going after the world record for the largest bowl of custard. He was about to dump in the last batch, which would have put him over the top, when something happened. 
the platform holding the giant bowl gave way. The cafetorium was flooded with three feet of the stuff for two days. And that gunk was all natural. No preservatives. Did anybody ever find out what happened? Supposedly, the platform's legs just buckled. But then again, platforms aren't designed to hold that much custard, you know? Why? What's up, Ingrid? Probably nothing, but I'm digging. You get to dig while I'm up to my neck in overdue library book tickets. Hey, Tahama, I thought you were handling the overdues. I am. Well, then how come I just got 50 more tickets to issue? What? 50? I just got 96. Oop. This isn't right. How many tickets do we usually issue? Not this many. Not even close. <laughs> I, I knew you'd be here sooner or later, Fillmore. Mr. Landrum, where are all the books? I... I don't know. This ain't good. Isn't. Isn't. Act two, the shadow of a secret. I... I got caught up in Mark Twain's Puddinhead Wilson. It drew me in like lemonade on a hot Mississippi day. Books were being checked out through the library's automated system. But they weren't being returned. It happened, in the words of Hemingway, gradually, then suddenly. <laughs> oh, what kind of a librarian am I? It's not your fault, Mr. Landrum. Someone took those books, and we're going to find out who. Over the past week, massive amounts of books have been checked out under bogus library cards. How do you... Create bogus accounts? The perp or perps either hacked into the mainframe or simply used the library's workstation while Lendrum was engaged with Twain's portrayal of Puddinhead. Wonderful. Hey, Vallejo. Principal Folsom. She's not happy. Great. Just what I need. Please let us through. I'm president of the X Middle School Book Club. It's cool. Thank you. We just met. I'm Noah Hawthorne. Officer Cornelius Fillmore. Oh, this is so unacceptable. They stole everything good in us. They stole our books. Hey, Noah. We'll get them back, man. But what about our innocence, man? They stole that, too. We can only get the books back, Noah. The rest, that's up to you. Hey, whatever you need from us. Inside, outside this library, no one knows it better than the book club. We'll have your back. Thanks, Noah. It's like sand or salt. Hey, Ingrid. What do you got? An angle. Can you grab me a sample of whatever's on these shelves and meet me back at HQ? Where are you going? I want a little trip to the grocery store. I found this in the ceiling of the cafetorium. I think it might have wound up there on the day of the custard spill. What is it? Carby Cola is the most highly carbonated soda in history. By slapping a cone and fins on this can and shaking it up, someone made a makeshift rocket. Carby Cola? I never heard of it either. It's only sold in the Cleveland area. Hmm, Cleveland? You should ask Fillmore about it. That's where he lived before his family moved here. Hmm. We having a party? Not quite. I got 16 different brands of pretzel rods. You got a sample of the stuff from the library? That stuff on the shelves? It was salt. I figured. Let's find out who's. Crackers. It's a match for Tony's brand of pretzel rods. So let's find Clementina. He's still in school. We had to cut him loose pending a suspension hearing. Last bell. He takes the bus. Come on, hurry up. Go, go. Get the lid out, Dutch. Freeze, Clementina. How about you freeze? Please, no! That's my balsam mahal. It, it took me weeks. It's priceless. It's to scale. Easy, Tony. Put down the model, Clementina. There's no way out of this. I'm not so sure of that, officers. <gasps> no!
safety patrol emergency. Just thought I'd drop in. Listen, I got nothing to hide. Just a library full of books. <laughs> yeah, right. Check it. Knock off t-shirts for the Glee Club's upcoming retirement home tour. A little extracurricular copyright infringement. They're quality shirts. Where are the books? Books? Hey, Fillmore! Take a look. Disco. Congratulations, Officer Third. You got the books back. Well, it was Fillmore and me, Mr. Geary. Hmm. Somehow I doubt that. I'm sure it was you who took the lead. Last year, I told him he was a lost cause. I stand by that statement. This new Fillmore doesn't fool me for a moment. Bad eggs don't go good, Ingrid. Well, I don't really agree with that at all. Even a little bit. I wanted to ask you about the custard spill. Best thing that ever happened to me. Really? Yes. But the spill made me realize something. I'm darn good at making large volumes of good-tasting custard, and thus, I'm opening Sean Geary's Phantasmic Oracle Custard Palace. It's a dream come true. And if that platform hadn't given way, I would have never had thought of it. So you think it was an accident? Of course. And even if it wasn't, I don't care. If some young punk did it, I'd thank him or her. Because one day, Sean Geary's phantasmic oracle palaces will be all over this country. And then the joke will be on them, huh? Okay, what do you want? A lesson. Okay, basic fingerprinting. Lesson one, take an everyday object, like Fillmore's coffee mug. Lightly dust it with talc. Cocoa will work too. Blow off the excess, and then carefully brush more dust off, leaving fingerprints. Want to keep the prints for your scrapbook? Take a strip of masking tape and lightly press it against a print. Peel it off, put it on a piece of black paper, and voila, prints to go. Start practicing. You'll get the hang of it, eventually. Come on. Ginchy. Crackers. Third, Ingrid, can you meet me in the library? Something's up. Yeah, uh, sure. Act three, a redemption returned. I was just looking through some of the bins of the recovered books, and it looks as though many are still missing. Tell me it's not so. It is. A lot of authors are missing. Tolkien, Bronte, Rowling, Beverly Cleary. How did she... Photographic memory. Typical. As usual, the best books are gone. It's just like every other day in the library. Looks like we have some literature M.I.A. Let's go have a talk with Tony. Fillmore, I gotta talk to you about something. Is it cool if we talk to Clementina first? I'm asking once, Tony. Where are the other books? They must have got lost in the shuffle. This isn't about detention or suspension. This is it. You tell us where the books are or you're going down this time, Clementina. Expulsion, man. In 10 years, they're going to remember the name Tony Clementina, the guy who pulled off the biggest heist in ex-middle school history. Cornelius Fillmore? Maybe some people might remember some glorified crossing guard, but probably not. <laughs> Take a good look down there, Clementina. This isn't lunch money. You're hurting every one of those people. Look at him, man! <gasps> Wait. Crackers. Fillmore, let's talk. I don't think he did it. What? We found the books in the treehouse in his yard. But before, when I was hiding in the shed, I heard him say he doesn't do treehouses. Now I know why. Tony's afraid of heights, Fillmore. It's all right here. He wouldn't climb the big rope in gym. He wouldn't read Charlie in the Great Glass Elevator. He threw up during a screening of the Red Balloon. He freaked when you turned him towards the window. The way he hesitated, jumping out of the bus. There's no way he put those books in that treehouse. 
Clementine is resourceful. He got someone to do it for him. Fillmore, Clementina couldn't have created those bogus accounts. He's failed computer science twice. And why would he even steal the books? Tony's all about making a quick buck, not headlines. Clementina is a lost cause. Believe me, Ingrid, I should know. Yeah, you should. I think that's yours, late. Third. Can you meet me somewhere? So I can keep listening to you being stupid? Hey, can't make any promises. Hmm, it's around here somewhere. Disco, the platform. Is that custard? Uh-huh, look at the legs. The platform gave way under the weight of the custard, Ingrid. But look at the top of the platform. It wasn't my fault, but, well, it doesn't mean I didn't take my shot, Ingrid. You tried to bring it down. Tried. Mr. Geary had always come down on me for being such a thug, which I was. A few days before his try for the custard record, he called me a lost cause in class. I guess I wanted to prove him right. The rocket wound up in the ceiling because it hit the platform, which was at an angle. It was at an angle because its legs had already given way. You didn't cause the spill. A few months later, I got busted boosting a chalk shipment. The safety patroller who busted me gave me a choice. Either help him crack another case, or spend the rest of middle school in detention. And I helped out, and I wound up joining up. You changed. Because somebody gave me a chance. Something I wasn't about to give Clementina, even though he couldn't have done the deed. The only reason he's saying he did is because he wants to prove me right. Well, I'm up for messing up Tony's plans good. Let's find out who really took the books. Crackers. Fillmore, do you see what I see? Could that be... One way to find out. It wasn't about cash or headlines. It was about the books. Excuse me, Noah, when I told you we were gonna get the books back, you asked me something. But what of our innocence? Well, I have an answer for you. You're guilty. What? You're joking, right? I don't think so, Hawthorne. You said it yourself. No group in this school knows more about this library than the book club, including how to create bogus accounts. Wait, are you saying that I'm... Mm -hmm. Just a little tip. If you and the book club want to plant evidence, don't do it while reporters are snapping pictures. You, the literary elite of X Middle School? How could you? I think the question should be, how couldn't we? Huh? He's ours. Have either of you seen my scale model of Mount Vesuvius? I just left it out here in the hall for a moment. Uh-oh. A moronic video game. You should learn to watch your step. You don't understand. We're the ones that truly appreciate those books. They should be available to us whenever we want them. That's why we did what we did. Do you know how many times I've tried to check out Huckleberry Finn from the library, only to find it's already gone? How many times I've tried to check out Super Fudge in vain? These clods don't understand the subtext of Judy Bloom. They don't see the metaphors in the great brain. Who does? The book club. 
Who do the books belong to? The book club! Noah, the books belong to everyone. And Judy Bloom doesn't really have a subtext, but she's still very good. Yes, well, at least in custody I'll have plenty of time to catch up on my reading. Sorry, Hawthorne. No dice. Detention time's homework only. And with the detention you're gonna get, man, I hope you have a lot of homework. You did a good job on the custard case. It wasn't a case. Nothing happened. Sometimes being a good detective means uncovering stuff you wish you hadn't. I'm glad you stayed on it, because you helped me uncover some stuff I didn't want to. Thanks, Ingrid. Go ahead and book Noah. I'll catch up. What is it? I just got to settle something. Hey, Clementina. Fillmore? You lose this? Yeah, I was packing up to go. It must have got away from me. Yeah, must have. But you can stop packing, because we caught the real book culprits. Sorry, but we all know you didn't pull the biggest heist in X history. You do now. I jumped to conclusions and I let myself get played like a sucker. But you didn't help. At least, not until Nora ran by your locker. That it? No. You know what, man? I don't think anyone's going to remember much about this heist in 10 years. I don't think they're going to remember you. And I don't think they're going to remember me. You said we are what we are. I don't believe that. Because I used to be something else and someone helped turn it around for me. A lot of different roles lead to 10 years from now. And I think you may have just started another route. You need help along the way? You see me first, man. You know, the safety patrol has a softball team and we might be needing new shirts. And look like you do good work. Hey, those are quality shirts. I can get you in the saddle for 10 bucks per tee. 10 bucks? Man, I thought you were pulling away from a life of crime. 9.50. Baby steps, Officer Fillmore. Baby steps. <laughs>